apocalypse. We finally have rain. Yes. It, and it may be true that I did do a rain dance, but we won't talk about that. <laughs> okay. It's like God took mercy on me. It's like, God damn, that chick cannot dance. <laughs> Give her some rain. Okay, so weeks ago now, back when I was sick and it was 110, one of our milk customers saw this little rocker in our house, which was what we call a, what do you call it when, the, when your motorcycle's in a box? A basket know, case? A basket case. Yes. So it was a basket case. I bought it at a yard sale for $5 because it was pieces parts. Right. I went through the box, saw that they were all there except a couple of pieces that I could manufacture. Brought it home, put it together, painted it, and it was Zed's. Right. So I don't want to get rid of it. I don't want to sell it. It was Zed's. Right. You know, someday I'll redo it again for his kids. Right. Or his grandkids or whatever. Okay. So he wanted me to make him one. And instead of saying, no, no, I don't want to make anything near like that because it's a ginormous pain in the ass. I'd much rather build the kind of furniture I normally build. Right. I said, oh, yeah, I can do that, blah, 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 for yeah. 50 bucks. Well, for 50 bucks, I couldn't afford to buy the materials that are in that chair. No. Not right now because the dowels and stuff. Plus, I don't have this tool that goes down to that. Right, Meyer does. Right, right. But I don't. Any rate, so I'm trying to do it out of sticks and twigs and pieces of old furniture that I had laying around. And yes, it's been a ginormous cluster so far. I've tried, I've start, started and stopped three times. In fact, somewhere around here is another uh, rocker arm that I made that was too flat on the bottom, so that had to go. And this is what happens when you work with crap. And then when you get done, you're like, oh my God, I would never do that for $50, but you already said you would. Yes. Okay, so I'm getting ready to put in a piece. I've got all this stuck together with glue and um, staples, and it's drilled and doweled in the places that look like they're drilled and doweled, these things, mm -hmm. they are drilled and doweled, which I never have very good luck with because you got to get them precise. How are you going to get it precise when this piece is a log? Right, right. You know, so I'm going to try to get the seat on here in the best position I can, and you've got to in order to make it work the way it works, it all has to come back together. So I'm going to put this side on first. Then I'm going to measure it and do the other side again, even though I measured it because I don't trust it. And I know I say measuring's for sucks, but when you're building furniture or cabinets, you kind of screw. So that's six and a half. And that's six and a half. Oh my God, how did that happen? <laughs> I don't know well, you just moved happened. it. I did it on purpose. Though I did do that on purpose, it's always good to have somebody like Lynn around. To tell you that you've done something wrong. To, yeah, because sometimes she would have been exactly right. It's like, oh God, I did that in the wrong spot. Yeah, but not this time. Not this time. Okay, so it's all just plain it by ear. Okay, and what I'm doing a lot, and this is what you're always going to do if you're trying to build it off, you're using another piece of furniture as a measuring thing, you're going to have to go back and forth 50 times to measure. Okay, so that says 8 to the top of where the board goes. But I think I did the other one at seven and a half. So. Oh, you did six and a half, I thought. And no, not six and a half, seven and a half. And okay. Selena? What? That's the back. This is the back piece. I know. Okay. okay. I'm trying to see if I measured the, the back. Of the, okay, on a rocking chair, the front and the back are not the same. No. On a chair, the inside and the front are not the same. Nothing's the same, and everything's screwed up. And as you can see... This is not going to come out square if I don't manage to pull this all together correctly. 
I've got the back part square, but the front part is not. So it's rocking off. So, I don't know. This may be something. I might tell the guy, go to the store and buy one. <laughs> Which I already told him, and he said, oh, I can't find one. It's like, yeah, okay. Yeah, better you should go do it than I should do this. Because I've got to tell you right now, it's turned into a ginormous cluster that I'm not going to be happy. Okay, that's the back. I know. Okay. Eight. So, that was eight. That is eight. So it's the same. Okay. Which kind of shocks me. There you go. Okay, so... And of course, there is no template. No. They have templates for making chairs, and the old, you know, like, well, now, God only knows, it's probably made by a fucking drone somewhere. But in the old days, they had templates, and they, they had special vices and everything else for holding this shit. I ain't got any of that. I just always fly by the seat of my fucking pants. As you should know by now. And it's always nice when you're working with, like I said, logs. Yeah. You build some beautiful stuff when you work with crap. You really do. Because it's like everything winds up getting this, this extra treatment that you wouldn't get out of the world. But it is not easy. And it helps if you have, if it's your skill level. Mm -hmm. You know, this is kind of outside my comfort zone. I, but I said that. Meanwhile, I get stuck building furniture all the fucking time. And what did I say? It's out of my comfort zone. It's not something that I actually enjoy doing. But unfortunately, apparently, I have no willpower to say, no, I can't do that. Apparently, that, that gets my ego or something. Saying, saying no. Saying, oh, I can't do that. That's that's out of my, you know. But there you go. Okay, so let's see if that. It's still off kelter, but it's better than it was. It's like it's hard to make it do what it's supposed to do without the right tools and vices and shit. Woo, I that look it. right. You got it. Now when I put the seat on there, I should keep it. Yep. Okay, so now I'm gonna go. Make some boards. See that board there? I'm going to use it because it's got a split in it. Oh, yeah, of course. You can make thin Because I can make little bitty planks. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And the little planks will go across here, mm -hmm. and then there'll be two here. Just and that like will that. make So it'll look kind of like that. It's not going to look exactly like that because I'm working with crap. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is, okay, so I need a bunch of little boards. So I'm going to go out here to my... Table saw. She said table saw. I don't know if you can hear that. My table saw, which is currently residing in my... Flags and you can see, shop. I've had to build all <laughs> kinds of shit <laughs> to... Uh, this is the piece that's... Okay, this is the piece that's left over after doing all the rockers and stuff. That You could use that for a piece of trim somewhere. No kidding, that's attractive. Okay, so about a trillion years ago... Brazilian. One of the pieces fell off this table saw, so when you go to rip with it, if you're not really careful, it won't rip a good board for you. So, what I figured out was that I could take a vice grip pliers, get it all lined up, and then stick the, lice, the vice grip pliers to the back and have it hold it in place. So there's your handy hidden for the day. <laughs> on, the, on this episode of Making Do, and now I'm just going to use my saw as I often do, which is why my poor table saw. Uh, I'm going to use it as to make lumber, which I do all the time. Yeah, I'm not going to film that because no, it's, no, it's noisy. Loud.